guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see by today's title, today it's gonna be a what I eat in a day. It is noon and I have not had anything today but coffee. It's been a stressful morning full of errands, but I still wanted to get this video up. Also, I'm gonna start off the video with a grocery haul because we just left. I look wild, by the way. Like, the one thing about wearing a mask in public, it kinda just like rubs your face and makes it look red. Anyways, I'm gonna do a grocery haul. I just went to Trader Joe's, I wanna say four or five days ago. So I really didn't need a lot of like actual food. It's mostly like snacks for Stella and I, but I still wanted to share everything that I got today. So let's get into my grocery haul. All right, I'm gonna make this as quick as possible. I picked up a huge thing of Perfect Bars. I ran out probably like a few days ago and I just love them. I also picked up this little company, this little potato company. They have like different like versions of this, but the savory, savory herb is my favorite. I also picked up some golden potatoes, sweet potatoes, and three avocado. I saw these and Stella loves the waffle fries from Chick-fil-A. So I wanted to see if she would like these sweet potato ones. I guess we're gonna find out. I also picked up two things of crescents because she likes when I make these too. So I just grabbed two things of the 90 calorie ones. I got her her Mickey Egos. These are amazing. These buffalo chick patties from Morningstar. They're vegan and they're so delicious. I grabbed a thing of Rayo's marinara for homemade pizza. I grabbed another Bolt House vanilla chai for my chai tea lattes that I make. I'm actually going to make one right now. Um, I grabbed two of the Strawberry Kids Organic Granola Bars for Stella because I need to fill up her snack tray. This is the stevia I use for my coffee. If it wants to focus, there we go. I also grabbed Stella some more veggie chips. I just grabbed her two Lunchables. Sometimes she likes them, sometimes she doesn't. Blueberries, she loves these. These rice a or pasta ronis Parmesan and Romano. This is like a quick, easy lunch or dinner, especially if I feel if I don't feel like whipping up soup, something super extravagant. The last few days, I've just been having um, a smoothie for dinner because I haven't been that hungry. Um, so this is something that's like quick and easy. Obviously eggs, I don't know if I said that. And then her reduced fat Cheez-Its. This is so good. This sweet cream coconut milk creamer is amazing. I also grabbed some fruit snacks, some green beans, some skinless chicken thighs. I also grabbed a Stoke cold brew, um, one tomato, this baby kale salad mix, bananas. I also grabbed another one of our Dave's Killer bread. Costella is obsessed with toast right now. And then I also picked up some English muffins just to switch up my breakfast. These ones are really good. I saw these and I haven't tried them yet, but they're salted caramel mini cakes and Stella actually loves um, rice cakes. So I figured this might be a good snack for her and I. Most importantly, especially, most importantly, especially after the day I had some Trulies, I grabbed the mixed berry pack, amazing. Um, just a necessity. I'm not on my dot, but I might be on it soon. I grabbed a few cans of reduced sodium black beans, Pledge. I also grabbed a can of corn, but Stella's playing with it. She's so cute. Her outfit's adorable today. It's all Old Navy. Okay, um, so this is Stella's new favorite snack, turkey pepperoni. So I grabbed two things of that because I also like to put this on our homemade pizzas. Um, these, I know I showed you guys these before, but these gluten chocolate covered, gluten free chocolate covered pretzels. I grabbed two packs because Stella loves them too. Stella's really been into chips lately, so I picked her up some sun chips just to switch it up for her. Obviously, I had to get her more Oreos because she's an Oreo lover. I needed more magic erasers for Stella's wall art, mom life. I also needed some fabric softener wipes. Finally, in the after all these months, I finally found some Lysol wipes, which, believe it or not, I haven't found any since the beginning of like COVID and all of that. So I got that. And I wanna say that's everything that I picked up today. I also picked up some Ziploc baggies and some diapers. Oh wait, put it in the freezer right away. But I did pick up 
This is the best dairy-free ice cream. Mm. The So Delicious Dairy-Free mm. Coconut Milk Cookie Dough Ice Cream. You guys, try this. It's so delicious, tastes amazing. Stella, she's trying to eat the green beans out of the bag, but I swear, this is like my favorite non-dairy ice cream. And then my first meal of the day is, <laughs> I picked up some sushi, some spicy tuna rolls. Um, from the sushi guy on base and that's literally gonna be my first meal after I put all this away I'm starving. It's 12 12 and again, I haven't eaten today So I'm about to eat make an iced coffee <laughs> And then I'm gonna update you guys with like the crazy morning I had so today's what I eat in a day is just gonna be kind of like a vlog vlog style So I hope you guys don't mind and then I'm gonna put Stella down for a nap. So my battery's blinking, so I gotta switch out the battery. Hey you guys, it is 1.20. If you guys could see right there. I just put Stella down for a nap, and I'm about to eat for the first time today. We had so many, let me prop you guys up. That's better. That angle's not really flattering, but whatever. We had so many errands that we had to do today. We had so many errands that we had to do today on base. I'm about to eat a spicy tuna roll. I made my at-home ice chai latte. I didn't show you guys because I feel like I showed you guys a bunch. So um, maybe go back into like my previous videos if you guys want to learn how to make that. And then I'm also drinking some water. How cute is this tumbler? My girl Frankie sent me like a cute little like 1K care package for hitting 1K which she totally didn't have to do that, but I love the tumbler. So I'm gonna eat that. Hold on one second. We have um, reusable chopsticks, so I was just looking for those. I am gonna put some sriracha in here. and some coconut aminos. Yum! I'll show you guys right now. But yeah, we had a lot of errands to do today, so I had to go get a new ID on base, which is such a long story. Um, I had to go get a new ID on base, go to our military mall, the exchange, and then go to the grocery store, and then I also had to go to base medical to set up an appointment and turn in some paperwork for our overseas screening, so that way we could get ready to head to Japan, because we move in October, which I cannot believe, that's gonna come by so fast, you guys, October. So, I had to do all of that. Let me show you guys my food real quick before I start digging in. So normally I get this without the spicy mayo, but I was feeling a little extra today. This looks ugly, but I have coconut aminos there, sriracha, my iced vanilla chai, and then a water. And that's gonna be breakfast, lunch, a snack. Honestly, I might still be hungry after all this. I need to take a picture of this though. Um, I'm gonna take a bite before I tell you guys my little story time. I'm starving. So this is just spicy tuna with um, spicy mayo and that's it. Mm, 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 mm. I never go this long without eating, but I didn't think our errands were gonna take as long as they did. Um, so, yeah, I, I fed Stella this morning, but I didn't feel like eating because I wasn't, like, super hungry when I woke up, so I just had an, a coffee, but at, like, 10 a.m., I was, like, regretting not eating, so. All right, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of a story time, and then I'm going to finish eating, and then I have to do the description box for tomorrow's video that's going up. But so I go to, okay, so I needed a new military ID because my husband re-enlisted while he was on the ship. So the ID I had currently was only good until his last enlistment, if that makes any sense. So once he re-enlisted, his paperwork updated, therefore my paperwork updated, all of that. So I had an appointment today and because of COVID, we could only go on base to certain buildings 
by appointment only, which was totally fine. So I made an appointment like two weeks ago. I don't know why it's like blurry. There you go, I fixed it. I made an appointment about two weeks ago. Um, and okay, so with the coronavirus and everything going on, base actually ex extended expired ids through september but i just wanted to get it over with now like getting my id and everything like that so i booked my appointment for today three weeks ago because that was like the soonest they had available so i get there right me and stella get there mind you i was like in such a good mood this morning so we get there i give the lady my military id and my california driver's license she takes it to the back I'm not even kidding guys like 30 seconds comes back and says you got you don't have the proper proper paperwork in the system and I was like yeah I do she's like no you don't <laughs> I was like yeah I do my husband like verified everything with me I mean mind you guys newbies at all of this like I've gotten a new IT new ID multiple times I've gone on base to like all the different offices multiple times so like I knew what I needed and Andrew knew what he had to do on his end, end as well. So basically what I'm saying is that we're not new at having to go through this. So I said, no, like all the paperwork's there. Like my husband made sure last week, I made made sure that he made sure that we he double checked everything. She goes, no, it's not there. And this other, the first lady that was originally helping me was like a young lady. And then here comes a Karen, liter legitimately a Karen came in and she like was like, no, it's not there. Like we can't help you like with the biggest attitude and I was I looked at her like straight in the eyes and I was like listen I don't know who you are but I don't really appreciate your attitude I know my husband did what he had to do on his end I know I did what I had to do on my end you must not be looking properly because I was just here two months ago to get an extension on my ID and I had no problem then so I don't understand what would have happened between two months ago to now for you not to find my information and then I straight up told her, I was like, there's no way you took my ID for 30 seconds, put my ID into the system and pulled up my file and looked through my file. There's no way you did that in 30 seconds. And I'm not even being dramatic. She was like, took my ID, went into the room and then li literally like probably 15 seconds later. So a total of 30 seconds came back out. And I was like, there's no way, there's no way. So she's like, I'm not giving you an attitude. I'm just saying there's nothing that we can do. I was like, well, first of all, you are giving me an attitude. And second of all, I was just here getting an extension on my current ID. So you must not be looking properly because this is not the first time we've had to get new IDs. Cause one of the other girls was like, well, have you been here before? I was like, yes, I've been here before several times. My, my husband's been enlist enlisted for eight years. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing. And then so they kind of like stood quiet and they're like, well, what command is your husband in? I was like, he's on deployment. He's not even here. So you guys are here to help me. Like you, your guys' job is to help us out and you guys are making it difficult. My husband did what he had to do on his end. I did what I had to do on my end. I don't see the problem here. And during that, Stella was playing with like the fake little plant in the lobby and some of like the leaves fell um so during our conversation like she was playing with it but um she's like well there's nothing we could do to help you and i was like you know what clearly you don't know how to do your job because i know the paperwork's in there and I'll, i'm just gonna have to come back a different day with someone else so i walked away because i had another appointment like a few doors down to get our military passport paperwork done um so as i was walking away you guys as i was walking away she tells the other girl is she not gonna pick up the leaves i was like this lady has got to be kidding me so i turned around i was like no i'm not gonna pick up the leaves and then she had the audacity to tell me do i look like a maid i was like well maybe you should be a maid because clearly you don't know how to do your job properly so maybe being a maid would be a lot easier for you and she just stood quiet and then like i walked away and mind you there's nothing wrong with being a maid but the way she said it i was like like well if that's what you want to do like and can you believe literally you guys there was probably like three leaves on the floor like i'm not even joking it wasn't even like a mess stella lit, like made and yeah maybe i could have picked it up but i was just so annoyed in that moment i just like grabbed my daughter and left like we had other other things to do and she was wasting my time but yeah i'm gonna call and make a huge complaint about her 
and I'm not a complainer anyone who knows me like I'm just not not a complainer I'm not like let me see your manager type of person but that was so uncalled for and for her to like say things aloud as I was walking away like anyone who knows me in real life knows I'm really nice and sweet but the second somebody like treats me a certain way or like rubs me the wrong way I am so mean I can make anyone cry and like I'm not saying that in a way like oh I can make anyone cry but like I'm so like mean I don't want to say I'm mean but like I get my point across very clearly and I know that could probably like scare some people and I've had people tell me that like I'm super intimidating which I don't try to be but I could see like maybe where they're coming from so anyways that was my morning and luckily after that like my shopping experience on base was fine just like it always is I went to the base hospital the guy helped me fine no problem but I was like this girl has got to be kidding and she's like not in the military like she's just hired she's like an outside person hired to like work in that department so it's not like she was like active duty it's not like she was like enlisted herself she was just like a normal person doing like a basic job like literally you can't look into the system like for more than 30 seconds and try to accommodate me when I know I had the right paperwork so anyways that's my story and I wasn't gonna let it ruin my day but that took like a while believe it or not that story is kind of short but that took a while having to deal with that and I feel like the way she treated me because technically we're the customer right even though like we're on base like we're the customer she's there to help us so for her to have an attitude with me when one i was being so nice in the beginning and for her to say remarks as i was walking away blew my mind i was like this girl is messing with the wrong woman today because i am not it honey i'm not it sis so that's that but i'm gonna finish eating like i said i gotta do the description box for my video that's going up tomorrow and i guess i'll just catch up with you guys when i have like a snack or dinner I'm not sure what I'm making for dinner yet, so I guess we shall see, but I'm going to enjoy this. It's 1.33. I'm starving, and I feel like after today, I I deserve a good meal. Also, those Trulies were... I'm so glad I picked up those Trulies because tonight, I may have two. Hey guys, it is 2.40. Stalet just woke up from her nap. I just finished doing some work on my computer. I'm actually making her one of those rice a pasta things. <laughs> These things, oh my god, my chin. That looks like a pimple, but it's just like a scab. Um, <laughs> anyways, I'm making her one of these, and I'm gonna start prepping dinner here in a little bit because if you guys know me and have been following me for a while, you know I like to eat dinner by five or like around five. So I actually picked up some marinated chicken from the Mexican market the other day, so I'm actually gonna cook some marinated chicken. I have some Brussels sprouts from Trader Joe's that I got, got to cook. So we're gonna cook up some Brussels sprouts, marinated chicken, and probably either some sweet potatoes or brown rice. I'm thinking, what should we have? Oh, you want some water? She stole my tumbler that's no longer mine. That's hers. Hold on. what my carbs gonna be but for sure I'm gonna make those Brussels sprouts and the chicken so I guess we'll see the Brussels sprouts take a while <laughs> anyway so I'm actually gonna start them up now and that's gonna be dinner I probably will have a truly with my dinner tonight since I had such a long day Wow, well, my hair looks beautiful all right, so I kind of switched up dinner plans just a little bit, but I decided to cook up the quinoa duo from Trader Joe's. I roasted some Brussels sprouts. I'm a sucker for some roasted veggies and then just some chicken on the side. And then I just topped it off with this, this chili garlic sauce and I'm just drinking water with it. I may have like dessert with my truly later but it's only four o'clock right now so this is kind of an early dinner but i just wanted to share all right you guys it is about 6 30 and i'm going to have my last i guess quote unquote snack slash meal i'm gonna have this black cherry truly which just sounds delicious and i am going to share style is right there i am going to share 
the chocolate covered pretzels with Stella Girl. And this is our last meal. Clearly, it's so healthy. Honestly, not every meal has to be super healthy, but I'm obsessed with these. If you guys haven't tried these, these are amazing. Also, the best Trulies are the berry mix box <laughs> container. Um, the black cherry is really good, but I think I like the mixed berry the best. All right, you guys, that concludes my what I eat in a day and grocery haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave down any video suggestions you may want to see next. Also, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I feel like I say that at the end of every video, but honestly, by you guys liking and subscribing, it really helps support and grow my channel. But I gotta go and give this little babe a bath and get her ready for bed. And I guess I'll just see you guys in my next video. Bye.